today we'll be taking a look at the main story of Chimera Destroyer All Monster Girls and I'll explain exactly what Choshia went through to recover Ragaz's town's stolen treasure from seafaring pirates. Are you ready? Now that's gaming. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nakutso. Is this your first time here? If so, this channel is all about discovering something new and sharing some of the very best indie games. If any of that interests you, well then consider joining the community by subscribing. Somewhere in the Mediterranean, there's a ship on the horizon headed for the peaceful Regatta town on Morgana Island after hearing about the small fortune accumulated there. Tonight there is no peace, there is no sleep, only chaos created by the band of pirates known as the Sea Spiders. The treasure is stolen and the town's chief Bernadette gets ahead of herself and is defeated. She goes to tell the professor of the island what happened in hopes of finding a way to stop the thieves. Bernadette suggests that the professor's newly created synthetic chimera be of use after failing to get anything else out of him that could help. Reluctant at first and given no choice, he programs the chimera's brain and inserts golem DNA since sadly a railgun wasn't available at the time. This awakens Choshia to her mother. Mothers. Yeah, this is where her adventures begin. While trying to get used to her body and surroundings of Ragaza Plains, she meets up with the pirate Serpentina who ran off with the treasure. Choshia warns her to get back the treasure or she'll be in for a world of pain. After some banter between the two, Serpentina doesn't take Choshia seriously and continues off until she meets a dead end. Thus, a fight breaks out between the two as Choshia eventually catches up. Swords against a powerful golem fist, of course Choshia wins with ease and punches the ever-loving loot out of Serpentina. Yet, it was all according to plan. While she distracted Choshia, her other companions got away to different parts of the island with the town's treasure. Now Choshia's adventure has gotten a whole lot harder. She goes on to fight four different pirates across the land starting with Mimi the Mimic of Pumpkin Valley. Choshia fights through many of the ghoulish enemies before confronting Mimi whom at first was mistaken for real treasure. She tries to walk away from the fight, however Mimi isn't having any of that and tries to crush Choshia but is easily disposed of. Probably not the smartest thing to have spikes along the wall. Choshia gains Mimi's unique ability to transform into a treasure chest making almost any attack against her invincible, just what she always wanted. Taking the next fight to the Sky Fortress, Amelia the Harpy's battalion of air pirates and windy obstacles were the only thing that stood in Choshia's way. Amelia puts up a challenging fight after having her airship Arbitros insulted with the names Sky Boat and Cloud Canoe, knowing that her Albatross could be well considered an eighth wonder of the world. But she was ultimately defeated and her DNA added to our Chimera giving her the power to reach new heights. Mount Afro Koopa, from freezing snow to the hottest depths of the volcano, Chosia arrives at the delicious lair of Anchovy the Slime, one of the sea spider's top generals. This made the battle all the tastier as Chosia is excited to have her own very pizza slime as a pet. Not wanting to be eaten, a battle of marinara sauce went underway until Anchovy is turned into a pile of melted cheese by Chosia's sheer might. A new ability dubbed the Saucy Shot by the Professor is given to Chosia. She's advised by the Professor to not consume the sauce due to it being high and saturated in trans fats. A victory, but at what cost? The last pirate was in her grasp, facing off against the mermaid Pacifica Oceana, who hasn't been having much fun on the island since she arrived. An argument breaks up between the two, causing both to battle not only for treasure, but to prove a point of who can back up their words. Knocking back anything Pacifica threw at her, Choshia hits the spoiled mermaid to the ground causing her to spill treasure everywhere. 
Shoshin gains the ability to transform her arm into an anchor making it a very potent attack against enemies even going through thin platforms. Equipped with these four powerful abilities now, it's time for the final challenges. Choshia makes her way on the sea spider ship and things prove to be difficult. Hazards like spikes, new powerful enemies, and deadly endless pits stood in Choshia's way. She reaches the end and to her surprise, it's different. DJ Doroko, the one that protects the treasure hoard, is her next opponent. Of course, a pre-fight is nothing without some smack talk which they give to each other before duking it out. They both show off their ultimate dance moves in an epic battle that made Choshia work the hardest she ever has. DJ Doroko, not having a fight like that in years, ends in a stalemate, saying that Choshia might have a chance against the leader, even if it's a small chance. Doroko leaves but is totally down to have another jam session with Chochia in the future. Everything is thrown at our hero as she makes her way to the middle of the ship only to be stopped by a familiar face, Serpentina. She mentions that even though she might lose the fight, she'd rather be beaten by Chochia than the captain. They both square off against each other, but at this point, a powered up Chimera is just way too strong for the Naga Serpentina, leaving her defeated. This leaves the gauntlet where one by one a rematch against the past Monster Girls has taken place. Similar to before, everyone is taken out, leaving only one obstacle in the way. Elena Arachnia, Captain of the Sea Spiders, elegant yet aggressive in her actions. She offers Choshia a chance to join her crew, which is tempting, but knowing to do the right thing, Choshia declines and proceeds to fight the entire crew before facing their captain. The two collide as Choshia uses some of the abilities given to her by the DNA of the other pirates surviving and ultimately taking down the biggest threat. The battle ends with Choshia delivering multiple punches, ending the reign of the sea spiders and returning Ragaza Town's treasure. Choshia's first order of being the new captain is for Mimi, Amelia, Pacifica, and Anchovy to live in peace and give up the recklessness to which they agree and instead of being enemies they slowly come to respect each other and live together. All seems good until two mysterious figures are seen talking about the order, a boss which may be a bigger threat than Elena and in need of a very specific skill set which sets up a story to be continued for Morgana Island. Hey there, did you enjoy this story explaining of Chimera Destroy All Monster Girls? Then why not take a look at this playlist where I went over other aspects of the game where it was collectibles and secrets and all of that fun stuff. As always, keep discovering something new and I'll catch you next time.